generally try not to push above 10 percent. What happened? Well, that was an interesting situation. Delta made an appearance, I don't know, three weeks ago or so, at, at some investment conference and they announced they'd, I think they announced they'd bought in 26 or 27 million shares and borrowed a billion dollars to do it. Well, I like that in two aspects. They bought in 4% of their stock, so all of a sudden we own 4% more of Delta than we had the day before. I like the fact they were willing to borrow a billion to accelerate a stock repurchase program. But what I didn't realize was that that purchase had taken us over 10%, so I was already in, in territory that I didn't plan to get. So I just decided to buy a whole lot more stock. <laughs> I mean, once, once, once I'd been, once I'd uh, lost my virginity, essentially, I, <laughs> I thought, why stop at one, you know? <laughs> Does that mean you like Delta better than the other airlines at this point? I no, I, I, I accidentally went above 10%. And, you you know, accidentally? I, yeah. It, 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 I do that a lot. You, I, I, uh, you know, I, I made an investment in U.S. Air back in the late 1980s, and uh, I think it was for 380 some million dollars. Ed Kaladi and I had dinner, and he said he needed some money, so I wrote the check. And I think before the before the check had cleared, the money was pretty much gone. I mean, <laughs> it, it was U.S. Airways went broke a couple of times subsequently, and and uh, uh, I tried to sell our interest at 50 cents on the dollar and couldn't do it. And unfortunately, it had this period when it actually did well. So we actually made money on that airline investment. But the, the, if you look at the number of airlines that went broke in this country, if you look at the number of auto manufacturers that went broke, I mean, it, 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 the, the capitalism can, can be rough. It produces good results overall, but, but it is survival of the fittest. And, but the airline industry is a very, very competitive business, and it will always be a very competitive business. I don't think it's a suicidal business anymore, but it was for quite a while. 